art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the order for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. Sing and dance together and be joyous. But let each of you be alone. Even the strings of a lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping. It's a time I'd like to uh, remember the loved ones who will not be with us for this uh, celebration, especially um, our father, Steve, Pops, Smitty, um, and Uncle Danny, of course. Um, just, he would uh, he'd be very proud of you. He'd be very proud of you. Daniel. Daniel. I love you because you are happy and adventurous and strong. I love you because you love your family and friends just as fiercely as I love mine. Also, I love that your family has become mine and my family has become yours. You are my best friend and I am so happy we are on the same team. You are the love of my life and you make me happier than I could ever have imagined and more loved than I ever thought was possible. You make me unbelievably proud and I promise, I promise that I will make you proud as your wife. I vow to listen to you and to learn from you. I vow to laugh with you and cry with you. <laughs> laugh. Okay, I'll laugh at you do that. <laughs> um, I vow to value our differences just as much as our own common grounds. I vow to put all my effort into strengthening, strengthening our marriage and giving you the best version of Emily. Daniel, on good days or bad days, rain or shine, I will love you forever. I'm so lucky slash fortunate, uh, Irene, that you're mine. <laughs> My dearest Emily, I love you and I will always love you. I will always love you through the thick and the thin. I will always love you through sickness and health, through the good the bad. I will always love you through the struggles and successes, through the easiest of times or the toughest. My dearest Emily, I will always love you through the aches, pains, and joys, through the trials and tribulations. I will always love you through the strongest of moments or the weakest. So, matter, so no matter what, I will always love you. Emmy, please take my hand in marriage and accept everything that goes with being a married couple and take me as your husband for now and forever. Emmy, you are the love of my life, <clears throat> my shining light, my soulmate, and my best friend. I love you. Not yet! Not yet. What? Not yet! Not yet. <laughs> you threw off my whole thing! <laughs> the rings that you have chosen, chosen to wear have neither beginning nor end, much like the love for your love for one another. They are a symbol of, of words that you speak today. May these rings be, from this day forward, the most treasured adornment, and may the love they symbolize be your most precious possession. As you wear these rings, may they be constant reminders of these glad promises you are making today. Emily, do you take Dan to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Do you, Dan, take Emily to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Now? By the power vested in me, by the great state of Vermont, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. All rise and greet Mr. and Mrs. Daniel DeWitt.
and gentlemen, let's hear for Dale and Emmy. Come on! And we talk about you, we think about you guys all the time. And we're very happy that, you know, with a, uh, an Irish family and a Vietnamese family, we walk very loud, very crazy. Do you think the Nguyen would be, or the, the Vietnamese side, because in the Nguyen we have the Nguyen, the Pan, and the Green, would be louder than the Shea? On the count of three, I would like the Shay and the Smith to go as loud as you can. can laugh longer and harder over the simplest of things and pranking your brothers. 
to allow themselves to be loved by one another. And without any boundaries, they just have this love that I've never seen Emily shine like this. I've never seen Emily yeah. so happy. Yeah. Daniel and Emily, I know that this is a marriage that is just meant to be. You guys are amazing, and um, I love you both. And I'm just so proud of the fact that you guys found each other, and we'll stay together forever. Yeah. And now we got the honor to meet Em's dad, um, Stephen Clayton Smith. But what I do know, he is very proud of his daughter. And not just for Emmy's beautiful smile, her kind heart, and her tender soul, but also for her ability to always prevail, even through some of the toughest of times. Emmy, your father is no longer with us in the physical form, but he lives on in spirit, through our memories, and through you and your brothers. Never forget that, please. Next, I want to thank Mama, please raise your hand when I stand. And my mom and dad, I'm not really sure they are. And the back, the problem is, not everyone is as lucky or fortunate as Emmy and I to have the parents that we've had or have. So thank you for everything that you guys have done for us. Now I have some words for my partner in crime, oh. the shining light in my life, my soulmate, my best friend, my cat. <laughs> I wanted to end with this. Emmy, I love you, and you are the love of my life. I can't imagine being with anyone else, and thank you for always being here. But also, thank you for always keeping me honest, humble, and always in check. It takes a very special kind of love to do so, so I thank you. Don't be so dead when I start talking, keep on telling me.